So Jesus selected his three, Peter, James and John, and it was prior to the Passion. And who appeared? Moses and Elijah. Moses being the representative, that prophet who disclosed the laws of God which are inscribed in tablets of stone and Elijah, the prophet, the one who spoke out against the 400 prophets, the false prophets. He was empowered by God and those prophets who were false prophets had a ghastly end. One of the things which is permeated into the ideology of the Catholic Church here in the United States is this term, and with it it is an ideology, it's a strange philosophy that's called seamless garment. It was during the era of Bishop Bernadine, who was the president of the bishops here in the United States. And this particular line of thinking continues today in the hope of unification. It's an attempt to bring all religious, even those that fall false and follow the gods of other faiths, not the true faith, to bring together those with the prospect of a worldwide religious union for the defence of human values in vain, dangerous and in conformity with the desire of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, as we know from the Fatima message. The seamless garment is a, an illusion, an imprint, an illumination, for it leads to an increase in confusion, to religious indifference, and even makes the attainment of true peace more difficult. The reason I'm bringing that forth is because in the gospel today, we're told to listen to my son. That's the father speaking. And Mary, the mother of Jesus, also said, do whatever he tells you to do. So the mother and father of Jesus has said, listen to him and do what he tells you to do. We don't need any strange ecumenical movements to draw people into unification without being centred on Jesus. We can enter into dialogue, but we don't try and bring these errors into other countries. One thing America is answerable to is its foreign policy, especially that which has been included, which is the LGB2. There's different names to it, LGBT. Many years ago in Australia, which tends to capture a lot of the thoughts that come out of America, hoping that the big brother will lead us into a way of life devoid of all the temptations of fallen man which Our Lady has told us about, because of wars, these things have happened because we will not obey the laws of God. About two years ago, Australia adopted, by way of a referendum, this particular behaviour on a national scale. It was passed. But almost immediately, the Prime Minister was ousted and then just recently the leader of the opposition got ousted. Both of these leaders were very prominent LGBT men. And then when we look back we see, well, the Australians are starting to see the pus which is coming out of this stuff which has been given to us. And they're angry and they want to change, but they can't change what has already been put in place. You've got to fight harder here in the United States by following the Fatima message 
20 years ago, 98% of the porno pornography that came into that country of Australia came out of this country. If there was ever the destruction of a society, and believe me, when I talk about the drug problem there, the youth are sick with drugs on a scale greater than what you have here. You must pray. God is looking for you to enter into being able to approach these people who are instigating the foreign policies such as you are to bring about a transformation, to listen to him, to listen to Jesus, to bring about a change in your own lives so that what you pass on is good, honourable and will bring people to heaven. I was sent here, a loner. I did not want to come here. I was sent here. And I'm referring very closely to what Our Lady's message is at Fatima. You have to turn because what we were fighting, which was communism, has permeated into the bastions of government. And now you're setting up a military base in Australia, which hadn't been happening for some 70 years. Why? Because you're scared of the fearful of what China's going to do. What happens when you sin? God will chastise countries by bringing up warring countries against you. Unless you start to turn back to God and start to enter into the commandments again and stop exporting filth and evil and satanic propaganda, your defences are down. Your allies will be no more. I pray to God for your country. I want you to lead the world. But my God, you have to change. I say this from my heart. And I pray for you all that you will lead the fight that needs to be fought today. And that is through the Immaculate Heart of Mary. The bishops need to consecrate not only the country, but the people and the parishes, their dioceses, to the sacred heart of Jesus through the heart of Mary. Then the victory, Our Lady, has been endorsed to crush the head of the serpent. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.